Morning guys, I want to show you today my Golang test driven development workflow. Um, so you can tell me it sucks or you, you can maybe learn from it. So first things first, I try and describe what I need to do in a GitHub issue. Mas importante. And here I even did a little positive, what do you call it? Uh, positive outcome, a uh, uh, case of what I'm trying to achieve. And as you can see here, I've actually already implemented it, but I'm just going to show you the Vimgo tooling, how, how it makes it easier, because you, you might be thinking at this path set and thinking, oh my God, this is just incredibly verbose. But with Vimgo tools, it's actually pretty easy. So let's quickly get going. I'm going to just go back in time here to when I didn't implement this. So first things first, I actually don't write the test first, I write the function definition. So um, it would be, typically, it, you know, how it is with uh, Golang, you, you take, um, you define what you're gonna take, you, you define what the, the transform is, uh, the arguments rather, and then you return the uh, output, URL and uh, an error. Error, uh, error, yeah. And then you implement it here. Implement this stuff. Um, probably need to return that, otherwise it's going to complain. Okay, so you, you now you have your function definition. Cool. Um, now the cool thing here is that you can run a program, go test, sorry. Oh, there it is. Sorry. Go test, not go test. Go test runs a test. So now it generates a sort of gnarly structure here and asks you to add your use cases. Um, it asks you for a name, arguments, what you want the output URL to be, blah, 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 blah. So this is where you can ignore most of this sort of boilerplate, but this is where it gets fun. Um, you can go simply get rid of this, and you go like that. So that basically is an empty structure, and now you have to fill it in, which is quite tedious, unless you use go full struct, and now it's all filled in. So you name the test like, you know, positive outcome or something. The You name the the input URL, like for example, what I had here. You can say what the transform is, whatever. Uh, I'll do that a bit later. You can say what the outcome is. Uh, foobar. Uh oh. Hi, Charlie. <laughs> So now you have a positive uh, case, and and now you can simply go go test. It doesn't it doesn't uh, pass obviously, and you can begin to sort of like you know um, start logging and start implementing the function here. So it's pretty sweet. I guess one reason why I didn't like. Um, doing uh, test room development is like uh, I found it hard to refactor but now you know it's it's really simple to generate the test as I've shown you and like for example you know go rename said I don't like my initial function name I can call it I can call it cloud URL and and that should change the name not just in this file but in that one too yeah. So I hope you got a good idea of, of my workflow here. And um, if you know better, please let me know. Otherwise, please like the video and subscribe and all that jazz. Thanks for watching.